Matras. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between request method get and request method post. Some part of industry calls these things also as request modes, request methodologies. But technically, we better to call them as what request methods. But why methodologies, mode, these terminologies have come? To avoid confusion between Java method and HTTP request methods. So some people have created terminology called request methodologies, request modes. So you know that uh, get and post are the HTTP request modes. Total seven are there. Uh, they are get, post, put, delete, options, trace, head and one more is there but that is kept as a reserved one that is what connect. All these are basically there to send request to web server, request to application server from different clients in different modes. But uh, as we all know, browser can send only get mode request and post mode request. When browser is client to web server or application server, unfortunately it cannot send request in other modes. It can send either get mode or what post mode. That's why we focus more on what get and post request methodologies or modes. So very popular interview question, what is the difference between get and post? So today this video, in this video I am basically focusing on the differences between get mode request and what post mode request. Let us try to understand them. One side I am taking get, another side I am taking post. get is a default request methodology if no methodology is specified you type a url in the browser address bar no methodology is specified default get you click it on hyperlink to generate a request this default methodology is what get but post is not a default methodology get is actually designed to get the data from server by sending request. Its intention is, see the name also, get. It is given to send request and get data from server. Post is given to post data, that means to send data along with the request. So that's why we mainly use get we mainly use get to get the data from server by giving blank request. But still get can carry limited amount of data that is what? 2 KB. 2 KB. In some browsers it is 4 KB but generally we say 2 KB. Browser to browser that figure will vary. Post can carry unlimited amount of data along with the request. There is no limit for it, unlimited data. Next, when form is submitted, the form generated query string that contains uh, request parameter, names, values, nothing but form data is visible in the browser address bar. So that's why there is no data secrecy. The form generated query string is not visible in the browser address bar so I can say there is what data secrecy next when it comes to get when it comes to get when it comes to get to process this get mode request in our servlet component we use either service method or do get method similarly to process post mode request in our servlet component we can use either service method or do post method next get support only 
character data along with the request that means ascii characters kind of thing whereas post can carry different mime types based data text data binary data all kinds of when i say binary data images kind of thing next get support caching post does not support what caching what do you mean by cache cache or buffer is a temporary memory that holds data for temporary period when you give request having get mode having what get mode along with the responsive data comes that the data will be placed in what cache and uh, that data will be used for multiple same request due to this we can reduce network round trips between browser and web server when it comes to post it does not support caching since it does not support caching network round trips between browser and uh, server will be more across the multiple same request for example by using browser uh, i used uh, i i searched for uh, seven wonders in the world let us assume google has taken some time and giving some results these results first will be stored in buffer or cache then they will be displayed on the browser when i give same request second time instead of going to google website searching entire internet and all these things this time it will collect from what buffer or cache that is there in the browser itself and that is possible only when you give get mode request that is not possible when you give what post mode request so this indicates what get support caching and what post does not support caching next get is item potent post is not item potent get is item potent post is not item potent get is item potent that means it's safe to repeat the request it's purely safe to repeat the request mm, that means i clicked on one hyperlink view profile view profile you click for 30 times 40 time profile will come there is no problem at all or you got a result page as the response of the given request you press refresh button same request executes one more time no problem you don't get any since two problems or you don't get any other like transactional issues and other issues but when it comes to post it is a sense to it is not item potent that means it is not safe to repeat the request let us take one small example here we have done some online shopping in a e-commerce website something like amazon.com so we added some items to shopping cart we decided to go for purchase that means we want to we have added item to shopping cart and we want bill kind of thing it has shown bill of 10000 then um, i decided to go for payment and it has given three options uh, credit card payment debit card payment and uh, cash payment let us assume the customer has chosen what or we have chosen what uh, credit card payment the moment we choose credit card payment it gives me one form in that form okay all the details will be filled like uh, credit card number expiry date uh, if any otp number is there that otp number and uh, amount to be sanctioned all these things we press it on submit button so after taking uh, 10 20 seconds time it gives one message your last transaction is successful and you can collect the goods in what 4 5 days we are happy but uh, knowingly or unknowingly we press the refresh button where on the result page that comes on form submission because generally form is taken and generally we take post methodology there so we press the refresh button on the result page that comes after form submission 
do to this what happened one more time same request executes one more time same request execute means one more time money will be detected that means money is collected from credit card account twice now tell me it is safe to repeat the request or not safe to repeat the request it is not safe to repeat the request when it comes to get it's all about getting data we never send any data we never try to uh, update the data of the database we'll always try to fetch the data from database or we always try to fetch the data from what server kind of thing that's why it is always safe to repeat the request that means get is item potent post is not item potent which indicates it is not safe to repeat the request if no methodology is specified by default it will be taken as what get methodology sir where to use which one when you are designing form it is suggested to take the post methodology in remaining all cases while giving hyperlink based request javascript based request okay or uh, direct request blank request it is recommended to take get moreover if you don't specify any methodology the default methodology is what get by default so these are the various differences between what get and post so thank you you can catch me for more videos in this particular channel thank you